existing software applications. Um, and the idea behind plugins or add-ons or extensions is to try and extend the existing functionality of application software tools. Right. Keyword here is you're extending the functionality of an ex uh, already existing software tool. Right. Uh, increasingly, uh, most software uh, software tools that you download out there will have um, would have would have been implemented using so-called uh, module architectures or plugin architectures to make it relatively easier for programmers to extend the functionality of that software. Right. Um, so your typical web uh, browser like um, Chrome, for instance, will have plugins. If you notice my my um, my web browser here, my Chrome web browser installed on my machine has this broad range of plugins that I have installed here. Right. Uh, all these different services here. If I I have a I have a uh, a plugin associated with uh, Dropbox, for instance, a plugin associated with Mendeley, which uh, enables me to easily interact with the Mendeley service without explicitly running this bloated desktop version of Mendeley, right? Um, okay. <clears throat> um, uh, it, essentially, really, uh, there's, there's a broad range of... Uh, plugins and what you can do is you can just look up Chrome if, if you're not very familiar with this you can just look up Chrome plugins and then you'll be presented with um, I guess a repository with with a list of plugins that are associated with the Chrome browser right and you can just order them based on uh, their popularity and whatnot right but it's not just web browsers right so some of these web-based applications are just uh, introduced to us uh, it turns out are associated with um, plugins or extensions. So I just opened up uh, uh, Google Google Docs here. You notice that if if, if I access the add-ons menu item here, um, um, gain a sense of what sort of what sort of add-ons uh, I've I've integrated my instance of Google Docs. Right. Um, very very useful feature if i'm wanting to draw diagrams for instance so if if i want to extend the function fundamentally if i want to extend the functionality of google docs what i do is i install specific add-ons right again for you to gain access to um, the add-ons all you have to do is just click the add-ons menu item and then just say get get add-ons and then you'll be able to access the repository of add-ons associated with google docs right google slides is also associated with add-ons Google Sheets is associated with add-ons, right? Um, most popular desktop applications will also be implemented using um, a plugin architecture. So if I open my web processor here and I go to tools, you'll notice that uh, I have, I should have an option to, there we go. If, if I access tools and then I go down to extension manager, uh, I have the option to add, uh, to extend to extend the functionality of this web processor, right, by installing extensions, right. You see, notice that the extension manager currently has two extensions that I have installed or integrated with this existing application. Um, applications such as VLC, for instance, which hopefully most of you use, will typically exhibit similar traits. So if I go to tools in VLC, you notice that uh, I have the option to install plugins and extensions, right? So very useful, um, especially for generic tools, so tools that are used by people working in different domains. Um, just because different domains will make make use of those tools differently, right? So uh, a student, a, a lecturer will typically use a web browser in a completely different way from somebody who works in finance or from a student, right? Um, and I guess uh, before we transition to look at the, before we continue off with the uh, presentation, I thought I would also showcase uh, the use of extensions, add-ons or plugins using um, my personal blog. So my personal blog runs off um, it runs off uh, uh, 
it runs off uh, a content management system called WordPress. And if you notice these small little widgets here, um, some of them are possible because of plugins, right? So this tweet stream here, this widget here pulls information, pulls information from my Twitter account, right? And I was able to integrate this widget with my WordPress instance because I installed the TweetStream plugin, right? So very useful feature, right? Plugins, um, a, a, a very useful thing to, to have, right? Um, but the fundamental thing here is that you generally make use of plugins, extensions, um, and add-ons to extend functionality of already existing software. Right? Hopefully that uh, makes sense. Right, so uh, most of these things I've already uh, talked about here. I was just showcasing an example of um, um, accessing plugins using Google Slides in this case. Um, you just search for the desired plugin. Once you find it, you install it. It's just point and click. Um, the plugin repository for uh, Google Chrome. Uh, again, you have the option to search and to filter plugins based on functionality and the features that they exhibit. Um, I'm not sure if this feature is still there, but uh, you notice that sometimes it's possible for you to play games from within Facebook, right? Um, that is possible because uh, there are programmers that specialize in creating games that are interface or integrated within Facebook, right? So th those are additional features that extend the functionality of Facebook. All right, um, I mean, uh, still more examples of plugins. I mean, this is Google Sheets. Um, and it turns out that uh, crea creation of, or extending the functionality of some of these tools is not really that hard, right? So um, I've done this myself. I'm just showcasing an, showcasing an example of um, very basic functionality I created within Google Sheets, right? So uh, just essentially use this to, um, to compute or try and determine the grade associated with a particular score, right? Um, very basic stuff. All right, uh, so already showcased this example of um, plugin associated with the desktop application. In this case, this was LibreOffice. The example I gave was LibreOffice Writer, but this is LibreOffice Calc, which is nothing more than a spreadsheet application. Okay, hopefully this uh, whole idea of uh, add-ons makes sense, right? Um, what what you'd have noticed here is that uh, the idea of add-ons transcends different types of um, applications. When we're looking at whether it's a, it, is it uh, an application that you're going to explicitly install on your computer system or an application that you're going to access um, on a remote computer, so-called web web services, right? Um, give an example of uh, a web service such as Facebook, which is implemented using pl plugin architecture. Um, give an example of uh, Google Slides, for instance, and also give an example of um, LibreOffice Calc here. Um, 